outset. Since the early 1950s, very little has changed in the basic construction of car tires. Today's tires consist of up to 25 components and as many as 10 different rubber compounds. Here we've brought together the five most important. They differ in their hardness and composition and they've been developed specifically for different requirements. For example, in the bead apex, rigidity is the main characteristic we're aiming for. For the sidewalls, the priority is flexibility and when it comes to the tread, we need grip, resistance to wear and rolling resistance. We build a number of structural supports into each tire. The belts and beads, for example, are made from steel, while textiles, such as nylon, polyester and rayon, are used in the carcass. If we didn't build these structural supports into the tires, they would lose their form and inflate like a balloon. The tread of a tire is the part that's in contact with the road, so it's particularly important for us to optimize both the rubber compound for the tread and the tread pattern. Each of these tread patterns is developed to provide the best possible performance in one specific respect, such as aquaplaning or handling. So these tires clearly contain all the know-how and expertise of our development engineers. Key to a tire's performance is the contact patch, the area where the tire is in direct contact with the road. The contact patch of each tire is no bigger than a postcard, so a few square centimeters determine the tire's handling, comfort and safety.